Hello everyone, I am Tiara Chardé. I'm back with another message for you. Please be mindful of who you speak ill against in this season. You could be entertaining angels. Ooh. I remember my father saying that to me uh, growing up and it was just like a Bible story that would be shared and, um, you know, shared and compared with real life situations. And he was always one to speak kindly to other people and with a lot of courtesy, a lot of chivalry as well, I'm, I'm getting. And, you know, he used to always say that, like, speak to people with kindness, like treat people right, just because just it's a good thing to do, right? It just feels good to just do good shit. But also, you never know when you're entertaining an angel. You never know when you're entertaining a child of the most high, a chosen one, someone who is meant to liberate you. I feel like for many of my chosen ones, you have, you may have spoken out or someone may have spoken out against you, right? In the previous messages, we were getting a lot of slander, a lot of defamation of character, a lot of gossip has been waged against you, honey. They like to talk about you. Some of y'all been dragged through the mud, but the divine said that is okay. They do not know who they speak to. A lot of people have been treating you ill, treating you poorly, and they don't know any better. The divine is saying, have compassion for them, pray for them. And I literally just heard somebody say, I ain't praying for them folks. <laughs> Listen, that is, that's hilarious. I understand. I do. I get it, my love. I really do get it. But you know, for some, it's like they weren't blessed with the type of knowing that you have your spiritual gifts, your compassion even. A lot of people weren't gifted that or they don't know how to access that part of themselves, but you do, right? You have a completely different vibration. You have a completely different outlook on life. If you have, you know, gotten things out the mud, you, you still show gratitude. You don't look like what you've been through for many of you, right? So there's a need to have compassion. There's a need to understand that some people, they're, they're just not on your level and they haven't learned certain lessons that you've learned. But, you know, there's still the energy of, well, they're going to learn. They're going to learn exactly who you are is what I just, yeah, they're, they're going to see you for who you are. And what's required of you is just to move forward on your purpose. Stand true in what you've been gifted with right show gratitude give thanks do do the things that you're meant to do as you know a child of the most high walk it like you talk it show up with love and integrity in all spaces in all spaces right and um you'll be able to show yourself approved in that way for many of you people were talking ill against you but you are about to show them what divine favor really is somebody hit divine favor put it in the comments divine favor you're literally about to show people what divine favor looks like you're literally about to reintroduce the most high to people you don't have to say anything your harvest is stacked my love it's overflowing, it's abundant, prosperity belongs to you. So that speaks for itself. Your blessings, your breakthrough, your way out of no way, all of that speaks for you. And you won't need to say a word, all right? And just know that people are going to realize exactly who you are. And most importantly, they are going to realize who the most high is. Some of them, they needed to, to be redeemed through you or they needed to be reintroduced to what faith looks like, what hope looks like. And they are being reintroduced to it through you, literally through defaming you, literally through launching warfare at you and trying to bring you down. They're going to learn who the divine really is. And I think that's like beautiful. It's like poetic. It's poetic justice. It really is poetic justice. Is divine law, divine justice coming in on the planet. And you are going to be elevated to a brand new place where you're not going to have to really deal with those people. New level, new devil, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, don't get it twisted. But for someone's current situation, you're elevating past the people that you're around. Okay? And they don't know that they're entertaining an angel. 
They don't know that you were about to be in the history books, baby. They don't know that you were literally sent to liberate them and their entire bloodline. So there's something that's very like ironic about that whole thing. But listen, all that you're needing to do is keep your eyes on the prize, keep your head to the sky. All you're needing to do is make sure you fast, you pray, you affirm, you do the things that you're needing to do. You stay hydrated and you stay out the way. How do you just stack them coins in private? Yes, you move forward on those projects in private and really move in silence like lasagna, like real cheese move in silence like lasagna. That's what you're needing to do. All right, my love. So so that is the message. That's a really, really quick message from our chosen ones. It's kind of like a prophetic word too, but it really is for the chosen ones. Um, be mindful of how you speak to others, okay? Um, be mindful. Many of you, see, I feel like you're running into, you're going to run into an angel. God sent me an angel. Some of you have been praying for an angel or um, or an intervention and you're going to receive that. And the divine wants you to be mindful on how you conduct yourself. Don't embarrass us now. Don't embarrass us who operate in the celestial realms and bring you wisdom and esoteric channelings. Don't embarrass us, baby. Be on your best behavior, okay? And it's more than being yourself. Be your best self, all right? Don't show up any old kind of way. I'm telling you right now, wear your best shirt, okay? And wear them little heels. I like them little heels you got on. What, what's, they're raspberry color. They're cute. Wear those. All right. Show up looking cute now. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that message. My name is Tiara Charday. I will see you on the next one. Peace and love.